Well, hello. We made it. Nobody passed out, thank goodness. Maybe we didn't expect it to be so hot, but it has been perfect. My sister is definitely pretty great. She's smart. She's kind. She's caring. And we may pick on each other a little bit, but it's all in good spirits. Christina has always been the messier one, hating to clean, and growing up, I often wondered what her house would look like when she had a place of her own. I'm proud of the house you keep and are continuing to build with Blake. I want to thank you for always being there for me. No matter what, you have been my go-to person. You are supportive, kind-hearted, trustworthy, and today you are such a beautiful bride. Blake, from the very beginning of your relationship with Christina, I could see it in your eyes that you were head over heels for her. I was so excited the day you called me and told me that you are going to propose and that I needed to think of a way for Christina to get her nails done. You proposing to her was one of the hardest secrets I've ever had to keep. It is truly so reassuring to know that my best friend is in such good hands. I got the chance to grow up with Christina for the past 15 years and now it's your turn to grow old with her. I met Blake when he was born, of course, but recall sitting on the couch at home, me around age seven and Brock four, being asked by my mom if I would like a baby brother or sister. I said yes, but I really don't know why. <laughs> Blake's past relationships were a little rocky at best. I remember thinking, what's he doing? <laughs> but when I saw how he acted around Christina, I could see that this was different. Christina. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. I can't think of anyone else that I'd rather have join our family or be a better spouse to Blake than you. It doesn't seem that long ago that Blake showed up in our lives, but it's almost nine years and it went by very fast. And here we are today. Blake, it's official. Welcome to the family. <laughs> I finally have someone on my team. <laughs> So, Christina, I'd like to have you place your hand on the table. Blake, I'd like you to put yours on top of hers. Blake, this will be the last time that you have the opportunity. <laughs> Susie and I would like to wish you health, happiness, and forever love. Please raise your glasses, and we'll toast the new Mr. and Mrs. Blake Hoover. Blake, I've loved you for almost 10 years now, and finally today, I'm gonna cry already. <laughs> I get to become your wife. I take and will continue to take great pride in saying I get the privilege of loving you for all the rest of our years to come. I feel like it was just yesterday you held my very sweaty, nervous hand for the first time in your Jeep on our way to one of our first dates. And now you're holding my still very nervous sweaty hand at our wedding day. Oh boy, this is not. You got be makeup good. to cry off. I'm not even gonna be able to get this out. Christina, I'm gonna make this lighthearted because every time I try it, I cry. Words truly can't describe how thankful I am to have you in my life. You have been my rock through the most difficult times in my life, and I can never thank you enough. I vow to be your rock, your sunshine, and your morning cup of coffee for the rest of your life. I vow to make every single day a new one and continue to be the best teammate that you could ask for. To me, I do means I will. I will always stand strong by your side and dedicate myself to your happiness, your success, and your smile. With all my heart, I vow to be your devoted husband now and forever. It all began on moving day in Kent State University when Christina's roommate introduced her to the man who would soon become her partner for life. Fate has a funny way of bringing people together, and in this case, it was the start of a journey that would span nearly a decade. Throughout the years, they've endured a long distance of challenges and have come out stronger on the other side. And now as they stand here today, ready to embark on this new chapter of their lives, they do so with a love that has stood the test of time. You, Blake, take Christina to be your lawfully wedded wife. Your constant friend. Sorry. <laughs> your constant friend and partner in all the adventures that your life has in store for you. I do. 
you, Christina, to take Blake to be your lawfully wedded husband, your constant friend, and partner in all adventures that life has in store for you. I do. By the power vested in me in the state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Blake, you may now kiss your bride. It is my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hoover. When I look at you, I see love and joy. I see my favorite part of my past and I see every day for the rest of my life. Thinking about our lives together, I'm so excited to continue to grow into different versions of ourselves together, grow into newlyweds, into first time parents, grow further into our careers, and finally grow old together. I know it will not always be a smooth ride, but I know no matter how quickly the world starts spinning, I'll find my balance when I look at you.